back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing really, really well. Today we're making such a delicious recipe. Now this is my crispy honey garlic chicken and I'm making it with some fried rice and of course I'm making it really super simple and all in the Ninja Foodie so you're going to absolutely love this recipe. As I'm sure you've all seen, we're taking pre-orders of my cookbook right now. So if you want to grab a copy with five pounds off and every copy that is pre-ordered before the 17th of June, I'm going to be signing all of those for you. So go over to my website, which is www.susannaskitchen.uk and you'll be able to pre-order a copy on there full of really delicious recipes. There's everything from veggie and vegan to one pot meals, curries, breakfast ideas, quick lunches, desserts, you name it, I've got it covered in the new book. So I hope you really enjoy this video. Don't forget to give me a like. And if you're new here, my name is Susanna. Welcome to Susanna's Kitchen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. Let's go and make this gorgeous, crispy, garlicky honey chicken and fried rice. We're going to layer up the ninja and make this work because we want to air fry the whole thing in one go. So let's start off with our chicken. So I'm just going to move the chicken into the shot there for you. So chicken, I've got a portion for two people here. And I'm going to grab my soy sauce. And we're gonna just measure this. So around half a tablespoon in here. There you go, let's just pour that over. And to that I want to add some corn flour and we want around half a tablespoon of corn flour. And all I do is just give that a little mix and that's gonna coat the outside of that chicken. Now my chicken is going to go into the bottom of my ninja pot and go on to air fry. So that is all that we're putting on the chicken at this stage. So just spread that out in the bottom of your pot. Now we're going to make a glaze that's going to go on the chicken towards the end of cooking. Now I'm going to be using some garlic puree around half a tablespoon. Oh, this one that I picked up is actually a smoked garlic paste. Mm, that smells so nice. Okay, let's get that in there. Half a tablespoon of soy sauce. You can measure that in. Another half a tablespoon of sweet chili sauce. Love this stuff, so tasty. Let's just get that in. About half a tablespoon again. Mmm, that bit's for me. Mmm, yum. Oh, so good. I want just half a tablespoon of water. That's just going to help loosen that up a little bit. And then the last thing going in is half a tablespoon of honey. So now just give that a little stir together. Oh, goodness me. Look at the mess I'm making. Never mind. That is going to make that chicken taste absolutely delicious. So we can set that aside. Now let's prepare our fried rice. So in here I have got some basmati rice and this is just out of a microwave packet. So just break up the little grains. They do get a little bit stuck together, don't they, when you have these microwave packets. And let's start layering up our flavors. So into there, half a tablespoon of soy sauce, half a teaspoon of sesame oil, half a tablespoon of the garlic, around a teaspoon of ginger, which I've got here. I'm using fresh ginger, but you can use some ground ginger, some dry ginger, frozen ginger, whatever you like. I've also got in here grated carrot and some frozen peas. So that is all going in the bowl with the rice. And then half a teaspoon of Chinese five spice. Now I'm using fish sauce and then I'm also going to be using some teriyaki sauce. 
You can change these up. I've chosen to use these today. You can make this with hoisin and you can also make it with some oyster sauce. So it's really up to you. But fish sauce is very strong. So don't go too crazy with that. Half a tablespoon is gonna be more than enough. And then the teriyaki sauce, I'm gonna add about half a tablespoon again. Now that is everything for our rice. And really it's just a case of just mixing all of those flavors in together, just to make sure that everything is flavored nice and evenly. So my fried rice, I'm gonna be cooking above my chicken. So I have got the rack and I've got it on the higher setting. So look, that is the piece that moves at the bottom there. So you want that nice and high, and then we can get our rice into here so we can cook that and i'm purely just doing this so that i can cook both at once if you've got like a dual air fryer with two drawers and you could do it like that i just wanted to keep this separate so that when i add the sauce to the chicken the chicken is really well coated in that and the rice just doesn't sort of absorb all of that that we don't want it to we want it on that chicken so now we can start cooking just go across to our chicken that's in here. We want to give that a little bit of spray oil. We want to do this on 190. And let's just reduce the time. Literally just want two or three minutes. I haven't preheated this. So I think I'm going to go with three minutes to start off with on air fry. Just the chicken alone. Now the chicken has had those three minutes. Obviously I'm not expecting it to look cooked whatsoever, but it has just started to color those edges ever so slightly and we've heated up the pot nicely. Now I'm gonna lower in the rice and that's just gonna sit over the top. Let's give the rice a little bit of a spray. Now we are gonna turn the rice during cooking. This is now gonna go on still at 190 and we're gonna do this for eight minutes. So eight more minutes. So the chicken's already had three, eight minutes with the rice in, stir this halfway. To fit this in, obviously the rice is quite high up in the Ninja and that is even more reason why you need to go in and just give it a little stir because if not, you will get a completely crispy top. But this is fried rice, so we do want that kind of crispiness to it. So just do as I am, just give it a little toss around and then just carry on cooking. Brilliant, that is just finished. So you need to move the rice about. I did this probably every two minutes. I just gave it a little toss around with a spoon just to mix it up. So you get these nice little crispy parts that form on the top and it's just delicious. It makes it taste more like a proper fried rice. So now we can remove this part. So I'm just gonna see where the chicken's at with a thermometer. See how far off we are. We're actually probably not that far off. It just doesn't look very cooked because obviously we've had that layer on top of it. But yeah, we are not cooked yet with that, which is absolutely fine because we still have the sauce to add and a little bit more time under air fry. But I'm happy at this stage to add the sauce over the chicken. So I'm literally just gonna scrape that straight into the chicken. Oh, it smells so nice. And then I'm just gonna mix the chicken around in that gorgeous sauce. It's more like a glaze, really. Oh, it's just so yummy. Okay, and now let's give this a good blast on air fry. So I think I'm gonna turn the heat up. Still gonna keep it in the bottom of the pot because we've got the sauce in there. Let's get that onto air fry and let's go up in temperature. Let's go hot. 210 is the max on my air fryer. Um, it really is not gonna need much time. I'm gonna keep an eye on this. So let's go for five minutes, but I'm, I'm thinking it's probably gonna need three, two to three. We just wanna get a little bit more color on the outside. Really want to get that glaze and sauce coating that chicken and sticking to it. And we'll use a thermometer to check it again. But whilst we're waiting for the chicken to finish cooking, this is staying nice and warm. 
and I'm going to have a cheeky little taste. Mmm, yeah. That is lovely. Mmm, so much flavour in there. It's a winner. So the chicken did take a little bit longer to cook, but I don't really want to give you an exact cook time purely because you really need to cook it to temperature with chicken. Just use your thermometer, make sure that it is fully cooked, but it only took around five minutes really for mine. That looks absolutely delicious. Can't wait to tuck in. It's low on calories as well, this meal, and it's all done on air fry.